hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be showing you that how basically you can build out a google and youtube auto complete keyword tool inside your node.js express and javascript so this is basically the tool i developed here and deployed it on my website freemediatools.com and basically here you write any sort of search query if you want to re do research in making videos and writing blog post so let's suppose if i write the query here angular 14 project 2 and now if i click download results in csv file basically what it will do guys uh, it will take some time and it will download the csv file as you can see here and now if i open this file you will see inside microsoft excel you will see basically it will give me all the suggestions that it has scraped from google live google autocomplete or youtube autocomplete you can see how to create angular 14 project angular 10 project example if you drag down you will see you will get a lot of results out there let's suppose now if i write another query and if i write here let's suppose uh, programming click on download again it will scrape all the results related to this programming query you will see programming games programming games ai by example you, you will get a lot of uh, suggestions so this is basically good for keyword research if you are doing basically to uh, make any sort of videos to write blog posts you will see 260 keywords it has given you in a matter of seconds so you don't need to do any sort of keyword research in order to buy any sort of keyword tool we will be developing this free tool which will give you the suggestions in instantly so you don't need to basically waste your time in having you can type any query here react again it will download all the keywords inside you will see basically you can see that so what it is doing is that it is going to google and basically what it is scraping here you will see python if you write something in google basically all these suggestions that you see right here in the bottom side auto complete one drop down it is scraping all these suggestions and it is uh, downloading it inside a csv file so it is doing it using in a background if i write the same query here python script 2 and if i now click download it will now basically automate the process you will see python script to query databases python script to query sql database you will see validate csv file you will got you can see how many ideas that you got here almost you will see over 200 ideas so you will see 260 ideas you can get here so we will try to develop this tool guys and for this i am using a dependency inside node.js which is called as suggestion if you just type this dependency it is making use of the google suggest api or autocomplete api whatever you want to call it it is making a direct call in the background you will see 704 weekly downloads are there and uh, it is very good you can provide the client as well youtube as well you can even get suggestions in different languages such as chinese arabic you can provide a language parameter here it's a very good uh, library and now I have given all the source code guys in the description of the video I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website the link is given in the description of the video you will get all the source code so now let's get started by building this application so the very first thing you need to do let me delete all this source code and start from scratch so the very first thing you need to do guys uh, we will need three dependencies for this project npm i express will be the web server then we will need ejs template engine and then we will need uh, suggestion so these three dependencies are needed ejs is not mandatory uh, express and suggestion so simply install this i have already installed it so i will start my server which is so right, right here guys index.js you will start your express server we will simply start the server here we will start it on port 5000 
so you will see and then basically guys we will have a simple get request when we go to the home page we will simply load the template here response.render and we will render out this index template index.ejs we need to also set the view engine which is a view engine ejs like this and also guys we will need the body parser middleware so while we working with the forms here we will need this middleware function so you did not have to install it and then you can pass it using the use function extended false and uh, body parser json so these two lines we need to write here guys and now we can simply make uh, a views folder just inside this uh, index.ejs so right we will have a simple basically a form the action will be get suggestion you can call it anything method will be post and inside this input type text here and here we will given basically a name parameter which is for query a placeholder is enter search query this is will be required and then we will have a button guys which is download results in csv file so that's all so basically we can even give it a label so now we just need to make this uh, post request if i now uh, basically see here local host you will see that basically now we have this simple form here and you can even turn the auto complete off and now we can simply make that post request So we will get the query which the user has written using request.body.query So this is whatever the name attribute that you have given After that we will simply use the library So first of all we need to import that library So just import that and here you can simply use this suggestion and here we will pass the query If you see it takes uh, uh, two arguments first is the query and second of all we have got the options so here you can provide the options guys the very first option you can provide here is the levels option so levels basically it you need to provide the first level so if you provide this value you will get more results and then we have the callback function which is error and the suggestions if you just see the console law so we just need to append this into a csv file for this we just need to import file system module so file system and here we will simply here convert the data into a string by splitting it by new line so we will simply say suggestions dot join and here we will split this using new line character so each keyword will be there inside a new line and here we will use append file function and here inside this we will simply pass the file name so you can every time generate a unique file name by date dot now output dot csv and after this you can provide this file name and the data is data string you will see that and this basically have the callback here everything is there we can simply download this file using response.download output file you can see if the file is appended then we are simply downloading that file using the download method of express now if i start this application type a query guys which is coding siksha it will take some time here after this uh, once it is there it will download this uh, inside 
you will see the CSV file has been downloaded. If I check this suggestions, you will see coding Siksha, GitHub email validator. You will see that. You can change this to anyone. Let's suppose Angular. Click download. So in this way, guys, you can basically build out a very good keyword research tool without having to buy any sort of API. It is scraping the Google autocomplete. You will see that. And saving it inside a CSV file. So thank you very much guys for watching this video. All the source code is given in the description of the video. And I will be seeing you in the next video.